Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drive Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the very first case for my MacBook Pro 16 inch which I unboxed a week back. So if you're interested to see my unboxing and thoughts of uh, actually coming over to Mac OS from using Windows for the last decade, uh, do watch that video. I'll leave the link in the description below. But anyways, we are here for this case right here. So this is the unique venture which i just got from the local apple store for 169 ringgit which translates to around 40 us dollars if you compare with the macbook price of course uh, i think it's uh, quite a budget case i should say of course there are many cheaper options out there on lazada and shopee if you're on malaysian so the reason i decided to pick the unique case up over the in case is because the in case did not have the specifications of the case as in the specification for what model which year but uh, the unique one had the logo right here which said made for macbook pro 16 inch 2021 which is the one that i am currently using what makes this unique case more worth it in terms of value for money is that this comes with a keyboard protector a webcam privacy cover as well so i know i'm not going to be using the webcam privacy thing because i think that actually is overkill but uh, the keyboard protector is something that i will be definitely be using because the keyboard actually sort of contacts the screen and damages the screen coating over time i've seen many macbooks like this so the keyboard protector is something that i'm going to be definitely using and of course it protects the keys from getting oil stains scratches and uh, dust and whatsoever so the venture is actually um their tough series i should say so-called tough series uh, it is a slim hybrid protective case for macbook which is something like the ultra hybrid from speedgen if you are referring to a phone case for example or an ipad case so it is made from polycarbonate in the center and on the side it is like tpu so i'm not sure how this is going to hold up over time but because i'm really ocd about dust i believe the colored corners will actually hide the dust but of course you do have to take it on and off to actually clean it once in a while okay so enough talking let's take a look at the box so the box is pretty straightforward you get a roughly an idea on how the case is going to look like on your macbook but of course this is a silver version i do have the space gray that's the reason i got the sort of gray borders let's see on the back okay you can see what we have right here so easy clip on installation translucent matte exterior you can see precise fit with full access full ventilation and stability so basically what i was looking for in a macbook case is definitely the four stoppers at the bottom and on top of that i was looking for this corner protection on the back usually when it comes to cases for macbooks uh, the back corners are actually exposed so which means that you're opening yourself to more risk I do have a, like a cheaper version of like a MacBook case coming. I ordered it from China or something like that. So you can see right here, the feature is that it's a 360 bumper protection. So that's what I was looking for because I'm in the midst of actually testing the moth sleeve for the MacBook. This actually folds up like origami style, you know, moth products. So I'm currently testing this. Uh, of course, I did purchase this. I'm actually testing this one out. Uh, so that's the reason I wanted slightly more protection because this is just like a very slim uh, Sort of like a sleeve. So I wanted something to go on top of my MacBook So it wouldn't like damage the casing or something like that. All right, let's uh, quickly open the box So let's slide this out real quick. Okay, so on the top we get this uh, Translucent you can see right here But when you put it on you can actually see like the logo and stuff because I didn't want the cutout for the logo Because dust would definitely get in so I wanted a full coverage which is just like this and you can see it's not the thickest material it's pretty thin I should say but I'm sure this will definitely do the job well so on the inside you can see there are some clips right here all the corners this is for the screen portion let's put that to the side you can see unique cut insert and we do have the bottom portion right here so this is what actually made me decide to purchase this case because i think the overall design is actually really good so you get like the sort of indentation on the four corners and we have cutouts let me show you at the bottom right here so we have cutouts for the speakers actually this is for the base outlet for the macbook itself we do have the vents cut out yeah and then we have a cutout on the front as well for where your thumb is going to like slot in and lift open the screen we have clips of course on each end this is like pretty soft material because this is a hybrid case 
uh, on the back you can see right here this is where the corner protection is that is what I was actually going for because the thin one which I bought does not have the corner protection on the back so on the case itself of course you get this for pretty good stoppers I should say a feet for your MacBook that is something that I do like let me see what else comes in the box so we get this very nice and thin keyboard protector okay so that's about it for the unboxing let's fit on the case all right guys so before you install the case definitely do want to give your MacBook a nice wipe so down so now we are ready to install the front portion of the case let's step it on real quick let's see whether we can do it like this without opening the screen first so i guess we should do it like this or maybe we should just open the screen okay so top is all in very nice fit i do like it okay now let's install the bottom portion so this is the bottom portion all right so now that i got my macbook cleaned up let's install the back portion of this case so let's see where the front is the front is at the bottom of camera let's try this so we'll just slot it in well that's actually a pretty easy installation i was expecting it to be a little harder than that and yeah, we do have some dust there but you can see fitting is pretty nice pretty spot on wow i'm actually liking this case i i never had really high expectations of unique cases because of the past experiences with the airpods case the iphone cases i mean like they were really subpar but i think with this macbook case it looks actually really good so on the back you can see i'll give you a closer look this is how it looks like so all the cutouts are actually open so it's very nice and easy to actually um open your macbook something like this and bam it's that simple you can see my macbook's actually powered on let's see the corners are actually clipped on Yes, we have the bottom clipped on as well. The bottom is slightly loose, uh, but mm, overall fits very nicely. I definitely like test it over the couple of days that I'm going to be like really getting myself acquainted with this case, and yeah, then I can save my judgment for later. But so far, so good. I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm just worried about the rubber over here whether it like seals off properly, uh, but. I guess it should be good. I wish the bottom portion was slightly more snug. But uh, overall, I mean for the price, you can't complain because the in-case one was like 200 ringgit. So that was, uh, I should say, like more expensive than this and offered less protection. So I mean, this is considered okay in my book and it doesn't add too much bulk. Uh, it's really light as well, so it doesn't like cause the hinge to have any extra stress. So overall, yeah, this case is pretty good. So if you're interested to purchase this case, I'll definitely leave the link in the description below. Of course, I did buy it on the, yeah, the retail store, but um, I will find the online link and uh, you can purchase this if you're interested in something more, I should say rugged than a thin case, like in case version or some other cheap China options. All right, so this has been a pretty quick video on the unique venture. So pretty impressed. I can't wait to actually use this on the daily. Because I've actually been holding off using my MacBook because I didn't have a proper case and I did not want to actually damage the device. Alright, so hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.